So Wagner, we know that the power of storytelling, crafting a career narrative that gets you noticed. So what tips you have for job seekers in terms of telling their story, especially during the interview times? You know, again, it's a little contextual because you need to know where you are entering and who you're talking to. So there is a lot of understanding of the other. In fact, there are three very important components of a narrative. Mm -hmm. One is moments of impact. You mm -hmm. need to show what are the moments that had the greatest impact in your career. So people know that you're taking, uh, absorbing the information, the experiences that you had in your life. Yes. And they're very emotionally connecting. When you talk about this person or something happened to me and the impact they had on me, this is very important. Yes. That leads to the second component, which is don't focus just on your technical uh, skills. Think about the capabilities that you build, human capabilities. We talk about them, right? We talk about skills, human capabilities, and actually there's operational skills. Human capabilities are, I'm very good uh, critical thinker. I'm very good at synthesizing data information. Um, I enjoy very much exploring new ways of finding, uh, new ways of doing the work. So yeah. that's the other component. And the third component, has to be the curiosity about the yes. role itself, mm -hmm. about what is the opportunity for you to deliver your best value and show that you're excited about entering a challenging role yeah. because most roles are going to be very challenging. Yeah. In the future. <laughs> yeah. Having a curiosity mindset, a positive mindset is important. And that's how make, maybe that's your unique value proposition that you can bring to the job and that's why you can be differentiated from other people, right? Yes. And I look, I can tell you a very quick story, my personal story. How did I get to IBM? I was my own private practice doing things, executive coaching, a lot of things on my own. And I moved closer to the headquarters at IBM. I said, why don't I go work for IBM? It's a great company. Yeah. Yeah. My first corporate job. And I found the name of the, the head of talent and diversity there, but I didn't have a way in. Um, mm -hmm. I just called this assistant said, no, sir, no, sir, no, sir. So I found the one colleague of my head, a us.ibm.com suffix in his email. Yeah. I sat down and did a combination of the head of talent's name, Ron Glover, Glover, right? I did 15 combinations with suffix us.ibm. And I just said, I have the conviction I can add value to your organization. Please consider me for a role. Yeah. Miraculously, mm -hmm. he answered my email and said, mm -hmm. interesting resume. I'm going to send to HR. I said, oh, let's see what happens. Yeah. HR asked me, and this is the important piece. HR asked me, I don't know what to do with you. Uh, you didn't apply for a job. You just contact so-and-so. And I'm just interviewing you because of him. What would I do with you? I said, I don't know what role you have for me, but I truly believe in the values of IBM. And I can be your greatest cultural evangelist for IBM. Oh. In three weeks, I had a job as yeah. leadership and organizational consultant. Yeah, that's... So you never know, but it you is... need to have conviction that you can add value to an organization mm -hmm. and show that you have passion for it. Exactly. Because people listen to the emotional context and how you speak, how you interject yourself, how you share your willingness to work in yeah. the organization is very important. Yeah, those are great tips. Thank you, Wagner. So for the audience watching or listening, if you have any other tips, please leave them below. And mm -hmm. tune in next time for another great question with Wagner.